Hey everybody, it's Polish Pete, and this time we're talking Mollux. Mollux comes from Italy, which is pretty cool. We have a bait line from Italy, makes its way over here, and they're designing a lot of these baits with their pro staff, which is really cool because they can design stuff that their anglers actually are gonna use on the water every day, and we've seen some of that. We've seen some of these baits actually win tournaments recently and in the last couple years, and I'm excited that we landed a few of them here, especially starting with the one that our buddy Carl Jogginson made, which is the Supernado frog. So you've seen a lot of frogs that have different kind of qualities to them, whether they're a walking frog, a popping frog, a mat fishing frog, uh, and now we've had a lot of buzz frogs, I guess you'd call them, where they've got some sort of boot tail or something kicking on the back of the frog. This is kind of a combination of everything without that, without being a popper, I should say. You can walk this frog, you can kind of just run it over mat fishing, uh, just popping it along. It also has legs that kick at the back, so you can fish it on a straight retrieve as well. And the legs are replaceable. We have those on the site as well. Uh, Carl's done some serious damage to this frog. If, you're, if you want to see some cool footage, Carl does a great job of getting a lot of footage around this frog. Uh, the the Supernado frog is on the site right now, and I'm sure it'll be a favorite for a lot of people up in this neck of the woods that love their frog fish. Next up is the Kento jig. The Kento jig is a uh, what I like to call a casting jig and casting jigs kind of live in between two different techniques where they're fished in cover but they also can be swum back to the boat so it's kind of a mixture between a swim jig and a flipping jig I guess or a, or a structure a heavy cover jig I should say. Um, they, it has sort of, sort of like a modified arky style head like a pill style head on the bottom so it can be skipped pretty well but it's got a vertical line tie and a pretty thick weed guard there that's kind of perfect angle that I always talk about that I get real picky about with my jigs where the brush guard just touches the hook point at the very end. So if you get bit on the end of a long cast and maybe you didn't feel it and that fish is swimming away, it all it takes is some pressure and you get a hook in that fish. Uh, these are pretty cool looking jigs. I'm excited to try one myself. Next up is the swim jig, and this one here is their GT swim jig, swim jig, and Brad that works here pointed out something pretty special about this jig myself when I was looking at what features about this jig really fired me up. This has probably one of the smallest head designs for the weight that I've seen in a swim jig. So this thing's going to come through cover extremely well and still give you that casting distance because the weights are in line with all the other popular swim jigs on the market. It does feature a VMC hook, a, pretty, a real heavy duty hook, so this thing could be straight braided or fished on straight fluorocarbon. Uh, whether it's straight retrieve or that Alabama shake style, this thing's got a really cool skirt on it, really cool colors, and I'm sure it's going to put a lot of fish in the boat for you. The GT football jig. We've seen Mollock's football jigs take down wins uh, on, uh, I believe it was 10 killer with our buddy Carl Jockmason. Uh, I know they worked with Brandon Polinick and Carl on football jig designs. These are really cool looking football jigs. They have really fine rubber uh, silicone skirts that, that have a lot of action to them. Really good wide gap hooks on them, 60 degree angle. This things, these things have some cool flash in the skirt and on the heads. I'm really impressed with the head design on them. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying this out because I am a football jig junkie. Last up is the Tenix jig. The Tenix jig is a grass fishing jig and this is something we were looking in particular for when we've been adding jigs lately. We found kind of our weakness in our assortment was we didn't have a ton of different grass fishing options. I have my favorite and uh, I'm, now I see this thing and this thing looks pretty interesting too. This one's a bullet shaped head on it. Uh, really bullet shaped. In fact more bullet shaped than I've seen on most traditional grass fishing jigs. It almost has a swim jig style to the head but the brush guard and the extra wide gap hook on this are perfect for grass fishing. The, the line tie is vertical, like uh, you hear me harp on that all the time, that that vertical line tie really helps your, uh, clear your jig of grass and debris. Um, the skirt colors are incredible on this, this one being a bluegill color, perfect for our grass fishing uh, presentations up here. And having that extra wide gap hook is going to allow you to use that big heavy jig rod, big heavy line, set the hook hard and pull them out of that cover. All this stuff's available right now on the website, and the Supernato Frog is probably not going to be around that long, and these were hard to get initially when I was just hunting those down, so make sure you jump on those right away and give all these jigs a shot. Uh, I'd like to thank the Mollux guys for getting us this order real quick, and in the meantime, go catch it.